Today's lesson is on the theorem of Pythagoras. The theorem of Pythagoras states, in a right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square on the other two sides. So when looking at my diagram, this is my right angle triangle. I have one angle equal to 90 degrees. To figure out my hypotenuse, I'm going to look at the side directly opposite the 90 degree angle. So my hypotenuse is side C. It is also the longest side in a triangle. So the theorem says in words, in a right angle triangle, the square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square on the other two sides. So in other words, a square plus b square is equal to c square. Now an example. I have a right angle triangle here. My unknown side x also happens to be my hypotenuse. The other two sides are 3 centimeters and 5 centimeters. So remember, the theorem says in words, the square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square on the other two sides. So I'm going to say 3 square plus 5 square equals x square. So 3 square is 9. 5 square is 25. This equals x square. Now I'm going to add 9 and 25 to give me 34. Remember, I'm solving for x, not x squared. So I'm going to say x is equal to the square root of 34, which is 5,83 centimeters. Example number two. Again, the theorem only applies to a right-angled triangle. So my three sides, my unknown side is x, my side here, 4 millimeters, and my hypotenuse in this example is 6 millimeters. So remember again, the theorem says the square on the hypotenuse. So I'm going to say 6 square is equal to the sum of the square on the other two sides. So I'm now going to square 4, x square. So 4 square is equal to 16. x square will bring it down. 6 square is 6 times 6, which is 36. This is now my linear equation. To solve my linear equation, I'm going to keep x on the left-hand side. I'm going to keep 36 on the right-hand side. The plus 16 will move it across the equal to sign, and that becomes minus 16. So 36 minus 16 is 20. Remember again, I'm solving for x. So this square goes across the equal to sign. That becomes square root. Square root of 20, 4,47 millimeters. Now an application question. It says, a triangular tile has all sides equal to 5 centimeters. Calculate the area. So I'm looking at an equilateral triangle. Each side is 5 centimeters. So if I want area, the formula is half times base times perpendicular height. This is my base, so it's not a problem, it's given. My perpendicular height is the height that is attached to the 90 degree angle on either side, which is unknown. So in order for me to find the height, I'm now going to apply the theorem of Pythagoras. So I'm splitting this triangle into two halves. In order to apply the theorem, I could use either half. So let's say we decide to use this side. So we're now using that. So this is my 90 degree angle right here. And opposite my 90 degree angle is my hypotenuse, which is 5 centimeters. From there to there, half of 5, 2.5. And keep in mind, my height is still unknown. So again, I'm going to say the square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square on the other two sides. So the square of the hypotenuse. 5 square, b 
square, we'll bring that down. We could call that B square. We could call this H square. It's our unknown. And A square is from there to there, which is 2.5. We'll substitute. Now, 2.5 square, 6 comma 25, bring down the B square, 5 square, 25. So again, I have a linear equation with one unknown. So my unknown will bring that down, keep it on the left-hand side. 25 stays on the right-hand side. The plus 6 comma 25 goes across the equal to sign, becomes minus. Now, when I minus this, I'm left with 18 comma 75. Remember, I'm solving for B. So now I need to take this square to the other side of the equal to sign, and that becomes square root. So B is now equal to 4,33 centimeters. So we're saying from here to here, the perpendicular height, 4,33 centimeters. So I can now take this answer and substitute it for H, use my formula, and then solve for area.